Hello everyone, my name is Reza Mazdon Fuzagi. I am the Tesla Ontario Accreditation Services Manager. This presentation focuses on the connection between certification and employment. Let's start by asking this question. How does certification compare with a certificate? Although some consider the two terms as interchangeable, there are some key differences between certification and a certificate. A certificate recognizes the completion of a training piece, such as a workshop, a course, or a training program, and is usually awarded after a training attendee has passed one or more formal tests. Certification, however, is awarded based on a formal assessment of a candidate's credentials and qualifications against a set of industry-defined standards. It requires the completion of one or more training programs and proof of practical or work experience. Furthermore, certification usually comes with a professional designation that is recognized locally, nationally, or internationally. In addition, certification requires participation in ongoing learning and professional development. To an employer, the certification status of job applicants and existing employees is important for a number of reasons. First, certification introduces consistent, measurable, and industry-recognized standards to their workplace. Second, it helps new hires and existing employees to have a better understanding of the employer's expectations. Third, certification gives employees confidence in their knowledge and skills and inspires high standards among them. On top of that, certification builds a commitment to the profession and encourages employees to continue developing and growing in their profession. Finally, certification sends out the message that the employer values their staff members and views them as a skilled and committed professionals with long-term career goals. So what type of training or certification do you need to be able to secure an ESL teacher position in Canada or abroad? To answer this question, you should first determine the context in which you would like to work. Government-funded link and adult ESL program providers in Ontario, such as Ontario school boards and settlement agencies like COSTI, CultureLink, and the Skills for Change, require the TESOL Ontario wholesale certification and professional designation. Non-government-funded language instruction providers, such as private language schools, private career colleges, community colleges and universities, international employers, tutoring agencies, and testing organizations such as IDP IELTS Canada and Paragon Testing Enterprise may accept the TESOL Ontario OSEL certification or ask for a university degree in TESOL or Applied Linguistics, a TESOL certificate from a TESOL Ontario accredited training provider, a TESOL certificate from a TESOL Canada accredited training provider, a CELTA certificate, or just any certificate in TESOL, TESOL, or TEFL. To find out about the type of training or certification that is required by non-government funded employers, you should contact them directly or check out their websites and job ads. Now let's take a closer look at the TESOL Ontario OSELT certification and professional designation and how it supports employment and professional development. OSELT stands for Ontario Certified English Language Teacher. It was officially registered as a professional designation and certificate trademark with the Government of Canada in 2017. OSELF is awarded to TESOL Ontario members who meet the university education, English language proficiency, and TESOL training requirements of certification application. 
TESOL Ontario certified members are required to do 10 hours of professional development every year and pay an annual renewal fee. Obtaining OSO certification and designation is an important investment for teachers of English to adult learners. OSEL signifies that the approved candidate meets the industry recognized standards that are developed and reviewed and updated on a regular basis by the TESOL Ontario Standards Committee, a committee that is composed of TESOL training professionals, experienced ESL teachers, and ESL program managers. Moreover, OSO designation is proof that the approved candidate is well prepared to teach English to adult learners in publicly funded programs in Ontario, in the private sector in Ontario, and in a variety of ESL and EFL programs in other Canadian provinces and territories and foreign countries. In addition, also recognizes the certificate holder's professionalism and integrity and enhances respect for English language educators in Canada and international settings. It highlights the TESOL Ontario certified members' commitment to excellence through continuous professional development. By obtaining OSO certif certified status, teachers join a community of highly educated, responsible, and dedicated professionals who strive to support the best interests of English language learners, both in Canada and abroad. Another benefit of OSEL certification is that approved applicants automatically qualify for and receive the TESOL Ontario ICTL certification and designation. ICTL stands for International Certificate for teachers of English as an additional language. Just like OSO, ICTL is officially registered as a certificate trademark and a professional designation with the Government of Canada. TESOL Ontario certified members use ICTL to apply for jobs in other countries. OSELs are listed on TESOL Ontario's online registry of certified teachers. The registry allows teachers to access their certification record online and order their OSEL and ICTL certificates at any time. The registry also enables employers to verify the certification status of job applicants and their existing teachers online whenever they need to. Regular engagement in professional development activities play an important role in finding employment, maintaining it, and growing in the profession. TESOL Ontario provides its members with a variety of professional development opportunities and resources. Some examples of these professional development opportunities are live webinars, archived webinars, the TESOL Ontario annual conference, TESOL Dialogue Sessions, and the TESOL Ontario Affiliate Chapters, Workshops, Conferences, and other events. And here are some examples of the resources provided by TESOL Ontario. Directory of Best Practices, Webinar Video Library, YouTube Video Resources, TESOL Ontario Tetella Group, Contact Magazine, TESOL Ontario Blog, and Membership Minute Newsletter. For detailed information about OSO certification application requirements and process steps, please visit the TESOL Ontario website at www.tesolontario.org slash accreditation. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me by email at accreditation at tesselontario.org or by phone at 416-593-4243, extension 205. Thank you for watching this video.